Hey y'all, I am back with another video. This video is gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be a tutorial, but I am gonna be doing my makeup and I am gonna be talking about my experience with postpartum depression. In April, I believe, I saw a hashtag on Instagram called Black Maternal Health Week. And then we all know that Mother's Day just passed and this month is actually Mental Health Awareness Month. So I just felt like this was the perfect time to talk about my experience with postpartum depression. Let's get into it. Pregnancy was definitely, definitely like textbook. You know, it was, it was pretty near perfect. Um, I didn't have any issues like gestational diabetes or uh, preeclampsia or anything like that. And so going into her birth I was just like and going into labor you know I wasn't expecting anything other than what had already happened for things to just be textbook and perfect well her labor was anything but that <laughs> so I was in labor for 26 hours with her and then I pushed for five and I was not I, I wasn't mentally prepared for that I wasn't mentally prepared for her birth to not go, um, you know, perfect. And then even when she came out, Avery was not breathing when she came out. And so that really, really bothered me uh, mentally because I was scared. Like, you know, is the fact that I was in labor for so long, is that why my baby is not breathing right now like what is happening right I think the second thing that contributed to my postpartum depression was breastfeeding Ooh, breastfeeding it did not go the way that I expected it to first of all in the hospital you know I decided I was gonna breastfeed and Avery ended up getting jaundice and they said it was because you know she wasn't getting enough from me in you know in milk and so I had to start supplementing in the hospital. And I felt so bad because um, every breastfeeding website I had gone on and discussion board, you know, I had been a part and, and group on Facebook, you know, said that, you know, if you got a supplement, then you're not really breastfeeding. And, you know, it just, it made me feel like, like I had failed my baby. And, um, and a lot of them was saying things like, you know, don't listen to them. And, and this was after the fact. This was after the fact that I'd already started like supplementing with formula and everything and we had already gotten home. And I was reading all these things about how, you know, don't let the doctors do it. Don't let the nurses, you know, tell you that you, you know, need a supplement and all this kind of stuff. You know, they're lying to you. You just, you just keep breastfeeding. You just do this, do that. You know, it, you don't need the formula and da 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 and like I said it was too late I had already given it to her um the other thing that contributed to my postpartum depression was definitely finances um in our living situation we were living with family and um and it was I I felt so bad because you know, you always, for me, I always, you know, dreamed of, you know, walking over the threshold of my home um, with my baby, you know, in my arms. And, and it was like, I walked in to a home, but it wasn't our. I stopped working um, January or December of 2018. We found out we were pregnant with Avery January of 2019. And so we went from two incomes to one, and that was stressful. That was very, very stressful. That's what contributed to postpartum depression. Now, how did I know that I had postpartum depression? I was very, very sad. Um, I mean, like crying, just full blown, just crying. <laughs> Um, I remember one time I locked myself in um, in our bedroom because um, I had just gotten so overwhelmed with just feeling like, you know, I was a failure. Um, and so I just, I locked myself in, 
in our bedroom and Lee like almost broke the door down like trying to come get me because of like how I was in there like wailing how else did I know I had postpartum depression I had suicidal thoughts yeah it was just it, it was too much trying to breastfeed that was failing the way that my marriage had changed oh my god the way marriage had changed was was really rough too um on me and i felt like i was failing as as a wife and i just felt like you know if i'm failing this much then you know why am i even here <laughs> you know why why am i even here i was very angry just just irritable all the time i was exhausted like yeah you're exhausted when it comes to like newborns you know because you're up all hours of the night and i mean it's just it's a lot having a newborn but this exhaustion was something like it was something some, something more like what helped me through postpartum depression um the lord <laughs> i'm serious like if the lord had not um kept me and covered me when I didn't even realize that that's what he was doing, like I would not have made it. I wouldn't have, I would not have made it because like I said, I had suicidal thoughts. I was ready to be up out of here, um, but he did not allow me to do that. And I'm so grateful that he, you know, intervened and he stepped in and he kept my steering wheel straight hello if you are considering suicide please please reconsider because life gets better it gets better and while you're in it it doesn't feel like it's going to get any better while you're in it it feels like it's always going to be this hard but I am a witness that it gets better. It most definitely gets better. I would say, um, you know what? Makeup. <laughs> Doing my makeup helped me um, start feeling normal again. Helped me to start feeling like I... Um, start feeling beautiful again. Start feeling like... Like I could actually do something right. <laughs> I think also makeup helped just because it, it was putting my energy and my attention into something that was just for me. You know, being, um, being a mom and being a wife and, you know, and all of that, it's very easy to do everything for everybody else and nothing for you. And so for me, what was for me was doing my makeup, playing in makeup. I, I had nowhere to go. It was 2020. <laughs> it was the pandemic. We had just shut down. Like I had nowhere to go, but I was in that bathroom doing my makeup though. <laughs> Period. Going to therapy. I started going to therapy before the pandemic, before everything shut down. I, I was going. And so she had to be, that would have to be like January to March. And so Avery had to be like about three months or so when I started going to therapy and um, and that helped me a lot going to sit on a therapist couch and just cry it out and talk it out um, was was amazing for me if you are going through postpartum depression please hear me it gets better I know it doesn't feel like it I know that you feel like you are alone. I know it feels like nobody else around you um, understands, but if you ain't got nobody, know that I understand. <laughs> I understand, honey. I have been there. Um, and you know what? And that's and this is what my what my platform is about is allowing a safe space for for anybody to talk about, I guess the taboo thing, the the things that um, 
you know, that you may be ashamed to say out loud. Um, you know, the conversations that are, are hard to have and, and hard to hear. Um, as much as this is a safe space for y'all to have the conversation, it's, it's a safe space for me. You know, I, I feel like people see me and they think, you know, oh, she's a worship leader. You know, she, I see her on social media and she does this, she does that. And, um, and there's just no way that she, that she goes through anything. And it's like, that's not true. <laughs> so that's my experience with postpartum depression. I hope that it brought more awareness to postpartum depression. I hope that it brought more awareness to maybe just how postpartum depression shows up in different women. I hope that it definitely encourages more conversation surrounding postpartum depression, especially within the black community. A lot of the forums and a lot of the like support groups that I see are predominantly white and very rarely do I see a, a space for women of color to come together and talk about postpartum depression. And I don't know if it's just because it's taboo in our communities or if it's like, um, we don't know that that's what it's called or, you know, or what it is. But I hope that my video sparks some kind of conversation and sparks some kind of thought. And if you know a new mom, check in with them like not just check in with them and just say hey how are you because a lot of times the response is going to be oh i'm fine but no really ask like hey how are you feeling what's your mindset you know like that kind of thing like and they, they may share and they may not share hey that's up to them but but just know that postpartum depression is real and um and it's definitely a conversation that we need to have. So until next time, y'all.